Okay, this question is, hello Paul, big fan, I was just wondering what kind of music you listen to. Oh, for your next YouTube video, could you read aloud the monologues from a mortar fence? I just want to see how it's supposed to sound when it's spoken. Okay, for the first part, I answered that in a previous question, so you just go back. It was, so the question was actually what kind of music you listen to when you develop. Which is mostly also what I listen to, because I mostly listen to music when I'm developing, but I also listen to music when I exercise, and I listen to a different type of music when I exercise. Mostly, like, music that's faster paced, because that is more suited for exercise. Um, so, fast paced music, like techno or upbeat chip tunes or whatever. Anything that make that has a beats per minute of like over a hundred. Okay. The second part is could I read the aloud the monologues from Mortal Defense? Hopefully not all of them because that would take too long. And he's also said I well, I just wanna see how it's supposed to sound when spoken, but I didn't write most of them. Wine instead, so he'd know better than me what they're supposed to sound like when they're spoken. But I'll do it one anyway, I guess. Let me find one. Um, after city administrator. Computer Resurist, which is what I call my C drive. I name all my drives after different characters, by the way, in my games, sometimes after real people too. Which is kind of funny. Okay, the C, Game Maker, Mortal Defense, Data. I'm not even sure where the text files are stored anymore. It's been so long since I've worked on this game, 2007. Um, not, in, not in manual, not in music, not in textures. <laughs> where are they? Maybe it's not in data, maybe it's somewhere else. Resources at my ISS trailer translation. Has to be in data. Okay, it's in custom, which is strange, I think. Or no. No, it's not in custom. Paths, that's what it is. What am I thinking? Okay. Uh, I'll just pick one at random. 48. Okay, there's a short one. Let me move the window out of the way so actually we can read it. So we really are ghosts, you say? None of us get, get to go back to our bodies ever? We're just souls adrift for the rest of time until we choose to vanish like crazy old ah? or AA, I don't know how to actually how, how to pronounce the name, uh, all the more reason to, to enjoy our immortality, isn't it? I've tried to duplicate some of the conditions from your recent campaigns, Let's see how much better you've gotten. Okay, this is of course the Rabarada. Since it's 48, it's probably the end of the third or fourth campaign. So, I guess this was short end, so I guess I have time to read another. Let me find another. Okay. 71. I must issue a strong protest against your negligence in this matter, and I must offer an apology. I haven't spoken to you in nearly a hundred years. I haven't been using the path machines often. Only briefly, to prolong, pr to prolong my life or to gather data on the new ch changes in path space. Quite a mysterious phenomenon to which I ca can devote much time. I work so hard in the Republic now. I can't fully share your existence. I don't choose to. 
so I don't understand what it's like existing immortally with nothing that you can call your own materially. I'm writing a book on the subject. I'll read it to you when it's finished. Please accept this token of friendship, Path Defender, and please help the Republic to solve this mystery. Okay, that is Cory Bantes. I don't remember which Cory Bantes. I think it's the nicer Cory Bantes, of course, because he's the one who wrote the book. Yeah, so it should be the first Cory Bantes. I'm not even sure if that's how you pronounce Cory Bantes. You should really ask um, Wyman to, to, to do this, because he He's, he's also much better at telling stories. I once went to New York and heard him talk about, I mean, heard, heard him read for his story that he had written. It's kind of about someone trapped in some type of sewer system and cleaning the feces of everyone else and there were giant piles of feces. But it was kind of funny, but it, he made the story very moving, I guess. <laughs> Um, I think Immortal Defense is mostly famous because of him rather than because of me. Because he's such a good writer. I'm like, I'm an above average game designer, but he's like one of the top writers in the world, I would say. <laughs> Which is kind of, kind of bragging since I know him, but he's very good. I mean, I read a lot and I read his stories, and he's as good as anything published. He is published too. He does not. He had, he's still publishing his first novel now. And this is just his beginning. Imagine what it would be like in 10 to 20 years. Um, so I guess that's all. Okay, bye.